All right, you guys, welcome back to class. This is my uh, vocabulary hour for my nighttime block. Uh, I am speaking to you live from Costa Rica. It is now 9 p.m. here. Um, this hour, we are going we are going to be talking about uh, the Berlin Wall. Okay, practicing vocabulary words. Uh, as well as uh, practicing our pronunciations with those words, then uh, we'll see those words used in in uh, uh, a uh, brief history of what the Berlin Wall is. And uh, if we have time, we'll get into some questions and things like that. Just this here. Um, well, let's uh, let's see who we have so far. We've got uh, Andrew. Andrew, how are you doing? Hello, Chad. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can. It's a little loud. Hold on one second. Let me just turn down my volume. We should be good. Okay, try that. How you doing, man? Is it better? Yep, that's better. Okay, I'm just fine. Nothing special. Very cool. Uh, Chad, can I can I reply to, uh, your question by the expression like "so far so good"? Yeah? Uh, yeah, you could say "so far so good." Yeah, um, especially um, like uh, that's new one. Yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're talking about in the morning how how things going, someone says, "Hey, man, how's how's it going?" So, ah, so far so good. So far so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good expression to use, really. Cool. Uh, are you uh, okay, are you learning you. Mo learning more uh, more expressions, more uh, uh, um, phrasal you know, verbs? I, I, I learn everything, absolutely idioms, expressions, everything, new vocabulary. You know, yesterday uh, I had. Six classes. Uh huh. Yeah, and today I'm going to have at least three. Yeah, because <laughs> because I uh, because I have to do my homework. Can you see it? New uh, English insights into, into new business. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, I was listening to your conversation a little bit the other night, and you were talking about uh, uh, having uh, having troubles getting a a, a, a visa into Canada. Uh, how long yeah. ago? How long ago did you try to get a visa into Canada? Sorry, <laughs> how much time did it take to get a visa to Canada? No, how long ago were you, you trying know, to get a, you, a visa you know. there? You know, uh, I'm going to stay there for a year. Uh, I had the invitation from the Canadian school. Uh, I gathered, I gathered all uh, packets of documents uh, I, okay. was, I needed. Yeah, and uh, the answer, the, the officer's answer, sounds like you didn't meet me that you would leave Canada after a year staying there. Why? I have wife, I have jobs. Uh, also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I study uh, at university here. I have money on the on the my accounts. And why sure. I didn't meet him? It's I I suppose it just was a flimsy excuse. I don't know. Yeah, you know? probably. Mm -hmm. What a what a bummer, man! What a bummer. That sucks. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, well, just keep trying. Just, uh, just keep working at it. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you'll be not, able to. Uh, not Canada. Not Canada. Not Canada. That's anymore. fine. No, no. That's you know, fine. I, ha I have one year left uh, at my university, and in a year, uh, I, I'll go to the United States uh, to study there for a year at least, uh, at any okay. cost. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, man. Well, uh, good. Hopefully, everything goes well. All right. Let's see who else we got. We've got uh, Daniel. How you doing, Daniel? Good evening, teacher. Good evening to you as well. How are how's things going? Everything's good. I'm feeling so hot. I don't know. I know I think it's. Santa it's is me. I got my, I got my fan over here, right here. This bad buddy. It's keeping me nice and cool. Yeah, I don't know why, but this week has just been terribly <laughs> hot, man. I heard like super hot. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I heard on the news uh, the clim the weather will be 30 degrees all week. Holy I heard cow. that. Yeah, that's that's incredible. It doesn't need to be that hot. I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, uh, where are you? Where are you at? Are you close to the beach? No, I I live uh, really near to a to a river. 
Uh huh. The river is behind oh. me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Are you allowed to go swimming in that river? I know some of the rivers no, here are protected. No. When I was a child, it was a uh, clear, but now it's a uh, dirty. Oh, it's okay, gotcha. Contaminated. Yeah, so you can't swim in there. No. All right. All right. Yeah, that's polluted. Huh. All right. Well. Cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's hope and pray things uh, clear up here and get a little uh, uh, windier. That's the thing that really ticks me off is that it's so hot and there's no wind. I can handle heat if there's a breeze that's coming through, you know? But there's, <laughs> there's no breeze. You go outside and it's hot. Oh, man. All right. Very cool. All right. Let's uh, see who else we have. Uh, we've got uh, Manuel. How are you? Hey, how are you, teacher? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing good. Now, I remember you. Uh, I believe you're living over in uh, Heredia, right? Yes, I live in Barba, in, in Heredia. Very cool. How's uh, how's things going? Are you guys uh, toasty warm over there in Heredia as well? Yes, but uh, today I was working. Uh, okay. All right. And uh, what, do you, what do you do for your job? Uh, I work with my stepfather in, in construction worker because it's, it's Holy Week, it's vacation for me. Sure. It's, it's time for work for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, are you, are you going to take off the uh, last few days of the week then? Um, I don't know. Maybe. But I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Well, cool. Thank you for, uh, for coming in the class. It's good to see you again. Okay. Thank you. All right, we also have Jose Alfaro. How, how are you? Jose, how are you? <coughs> All right, make sure that your microphone is not muted, Jose. Okay, uh, let's see. Mine, how are you? Mine, can you? Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't your usual um, usual picture. All right, I'll uh, I'll come back to you. See if everything's working fine. Okay, let's go to uh, Rasal. How are you? Hey, teacher Chet, I'm fine. Excellent. I, I heard that it's very hot where you are living. <laughs> yes, it's very hot, man. Um, well, I, I've lived in hotter. I really have. Uh, but uh, and so I won't complain uh, that it's it really really hot. But yeah, it, it's getting it's getting really really hot. It, I mean, almost to the point where where we need some air conditioners here because uh, mm. it's getting it's getting pretty toasty. Summer is coming. What's that? Yeah, summer is coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, mm. definitely. Uh, what's uh, what's the temperature now over there in uh, in New York? Gotta be pretty in, cool. In New York, it's, it's still cold, and uh, outside there's a uh, not uh, not uh, snow now, but it's it was snow oh, uh, last uh, week, so it, it's still there outside. Okay, yeah. So you still got snow on the ground. It's the um, it'll yeah. be there for a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe up until the uh, first week or so of uh, um, of April. I ah, just we'll checked see. the temperature. We'll it's 39 but, uh, degrees. <laughs> oh yeah, that's 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 wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, Rasal, uh, how's everything else going? How's uh, how's your studying going? Uh, when's your test coming? <coughs> Studies are going well. I was preparing for different questions. Now I I, okay. just, I, uh, I saw the class, then I I thought that it's a good idea to just get in the class and have some practice. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, and uh, and when is your test? What uh, what day is your test? Oh, I I I didn't schedule it yet. Okay. It's, now, how uh, long it's, after uh, you schedule it are you able to, to take it? Uh, it's happened uh, twice or thrice every every week, so I can take it every. Oh. Uh, yeah, whenever you feel ready, I right? I can schedule it any time. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome back to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Tiago? How are you? 
Hey, Tad. Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, now, I've had uh, a couple of different people named Thiago in here uh, in my classes, but I don't remember your picture. Uh, is this your first time in my class? Who, me? Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I've changed the picture. That's why. There was me okay. and my wife before. And, uh, ah, I do remember that. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, uh, so how's, how's everything going, man? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good, indeed. I, I had a very uh, working, hard working day, but it's okay because uh, there is a place we can uh, chill here in Verbling, so it's pretty cool. Excellent. And uh, are you working this whole week? Yeah, yeah, I am. All right. But actually, we're going to have uh, kind of five days of holiday here in Brazil, so mm -hmm. it will be cool. Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Central and South American countries are uh, uh, are practice are uh, ha having some sort of holiday. Uh, some some people uh, um, they work until like Wednesday, and then they have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Thursday and Friday off. You know, take a long weekend. But uh, awesome! Do you have any plans? Are you uh, uh, thinking of doing anything? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna travel uh, to my hometown. I mean, my wife and I. So maybe we're going to relax and, of course, uh, attend to verbling classes. All right. Very cool. <laughs> it's, always, it's always nice to, to uh, take some time on vacation and study a little bit, get the old brain working, right? It's perfect. It's perfect, man. Awesome. Well, cool. Uh, welcome back to class. Good to Thank see you, you again. Thank you. All right. And Mine, let's check your uh, connection. Is everything working? Yes, it seems everything is working now. Hi. So you've got a snowstorm going on. Uh, I refuse to watch any news about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody talk about the weather. I cannot escape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, it's, it's just been unusually hot here in Costa Rica. Usually uh, the weather is really nice, uh, but it's been unusually hot especially this week. Uh, the end of last week was pretty hot, too. But uh, anyway, uh, what's new? What's going on? Same old, same old. Nothing is <laughs> exciting. Okay. All right. Well, at least you got the snowstorm. I hate the Monday, of course. This, today is uh -huh. Monday. I have a sure. Monday Sandro. I hope tomorrow <laughs> I will be better. All right. Yeah, ho hopefully. Uh, yeah, I don't really get uh, uh, like the Monday blues or anything like that. Um, I used to. There's been some jobs where I'm like, oh, man, I just don't want to work. But I love I love coming to work here at Verbling. This, this, this is a great place to be. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, very much enjoy it. Uh, well, anyway, welcome. Welcome back to class. It's good to have Thank you here. You. Thank you. All right, let's. Uh, whoops, uh, looks like he lost his connection one more time. Okay, you guys. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. This hour, we're going to be uh, practicing some vocabulary words that have to do with the Berlin Wall. Um, we'll be practicing them in a short history as well uh, after we learn what they are. And uh, if we have time, we may get to some questions as well. Um, maybe go to a discussion or comprehension questions. We'll see how things go. All right, so when you open this up, or let me uh, first off give you the link so you have it. This link is right here. Okay, uh, so when when you open it up, this is what you, you will see. And this, this would be uh, page one, and I want you to scroll down to page... Maybe. No, it should be. It's already on page two. I'm a liar. Uh, yes, it's already on page two. Uh, okay, so when, uh, on page two, we're going to be taking a look at the vocabulary review, all right? Uh, so if you've taken my classes before, you know I usually like to start with the vo vocabulary words and then go back to the reading. Uh, that way, as we're reading through it, uh, uh, you know what those words mean. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off with Andrew. And uh, Andrew, let me have you uh, read number one and tell me what you believe that word means. Okay, number one. <coughs> Barrier. Barrier means something that stops movement. 
Yes, so something that stops movement. That is a barrier. Okay. Uh, make sure to pronounce that E or that, that I that, that I is a, a long E sound. Barry, barrier. Try that one more time. Barrier. Barrier. Okay, yeah. So give me a good er sound. We're going to say barry, barrier. Barrier. Okay. So uh, right now, what you're saying is beddy, barrier. And so you're using a hard R. Okay, so we barrier. want to switch it up. You're, there you go. That's it. Barry, barrier. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Let's go to number two. This is for uh, Dan Daniel. Uh, so number two, please. Uh, tension. Uh, tension is when there are problems, stress, and difficult relations. Good. Problems, stress, and difficult relations. All right. Uh, very good. Now let's go to number three. This is for Emmanuel. 40 feet. Um, All right. That word would be fortify. Fortify. Okay. Um... Yeah, um, make it stronger. Yeah, very make good. It stronger. So make stronger. Make stronger. Yes. Now, okay. um, now, class, um, to use the word fortify, we wouldn't say, hey, I'm going to the gym to fortify my muscles or anything like that. No, we don't fortify muscles. Uh, fortify means adding adding something to uh, uh, something else that's already existing. It's usually a thing, okay, um, that uh, makes it stronger. So uh, so to make stronger, we're not talking about uh, uh, like like your, your, your body, your muscles or anything like that. So it's actually adding to, to uh, uh, another thing to make that stronger. Sometimes you may hear it with milk. So you may hear fortified with vitamins A and D. So it amplifies or makes that milk stronger or better for your body. Um, uh, like an armored car, for example. An armored car would be fortified with bulletproof ga glass and, uh, um, you know, impenetrable uh, steel walls in the, uh, in the door or something like that. Okay, that would be fortifying. Okay, so when you see make stronger, it, uh, it only means certain things, all right? Um, all right, so I just wanted to point that out. Let's go to uh, Fabian. Hi, Fabian, how are you? Fabian, can you hear me okay? Okay, um, and Jorge, how are you? Awesome. Uh, Jorge, let me have you read number four, please. Number four is abroad. Yeah, here we would say a bra. Okay, abroad. Instead of abroad, we would say a bra, abroad. Try that. Abroad. Good. All right, and what would that be? It's uh, mm, overseas in a foreign country. Good, good. Let's practice that V sound. We're going to say over, overseas. Overseas. Good, good. That was much better. Overseas, yes, in a foreign country. Nice job. All right, how about number five? This is for Mine. Diplomat. A person who pres uh, represented his or, or her government in another country. I good, so a... Uh huh. A person that who represents his or her government in another country. Now, um, this word, yes, you can say diplo, diplomat. Uh, most people, when they pronounce this word, they say dipla, and they pronounce that o as an a uh sound. Diplomat. Diplomat. Yeah. So um, you will hear it both ways, and it's definitely okay in this situation to say diplo, diplomat. Uh, people will understand you just fine, and they won't look at you strange, all right? Uh, I'll let you know if there's a word where uh, it, it's best to uh, to change the pronunciation that way, but this word is just fine. You can say diplomat and be just fine, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, good job. Uh, how about number six? This goes to Rasal. Military. Military is army. 
All right, very nice and easy, military. Now, uh, there's two ways to pronounce this word. You can say military, military, okay, or, and that's the British way of pronouncing it, or you can say military. military. Okay, and military would be the American way to pronounce that, pronouncing that Terry at the end, okay? Uh, either way is fine, military or military, and that would be army. Okay, nice job, Rasal. Uh, let's go to. Hi, everyone. Sorry. Oh, hold on. I apologize. Looks like. Sorry, guys. So I don't know what happened, but I it, all of a sudden it sounded. It, one of the other verbling teachers jumped in. They're they're verbling. Uh, 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 class came on. I was like, "Wait, what's going on?" And so I, I all of a sudden was hearing her in my microphone or in my in my headphones, rather. Um, okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get going. So let's go to uh, Tiago. And Tiago, let me have you do number seven, please. Yeah, uh, personnel. It's like a staff workers. Good. All right. Now, I want to work on the pronunciation of this word, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's important that you say this word correctly, okay? If you see it end with two N's and an E-L, this word is personnel, okay, with the accent at the end. Try that, mm -hmm. personnel. Personnel. Okay, good. Now, the way that you pronounced it is personal, okay? Personal right. is with only one N, and it is an A-L at the end. Okay, the difference being uh, personnel, okay, staff, workers, okay, that's, that's right. who that would be. Personal, okay, would be something that's unique to me, uh, usually information, okay, that I want to keep private, okay, personal, something that's right. personal to me or my personal effects, things that are mine, they belong to me and I, and I, uh, I want, to, want to keep them as my own, okay, that's personal. All right, so that would be the difference. You see, in double N and an E L at the end, that's personnel. Okay, this okay. word, personal. Okay, good, nice okay. job, man. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Adelina. How are you, Adelina? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Yes. Hello. Hello. I was talking, but the microphone was um, uh, muted. Shut down. Yes. Yeah, muted. Muted. Okay, very cool. And from what I remember, you are from Argentina. Um, yes. But uh, you are from, where was it? Uh, Salt? No, not Salta. No, you're from, mm. uh, uh, oh. was it uh, Ros Cordoba? Yes. Okay, I was going to say Rosario, but uh, that was wrong too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome, uh, yeah. welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Uh, all you. right, let me have you do number eight, I believe we're on. Go for it. Okay, uh, prevent. Good. Uh, stop something stop from happening. Good, yes, uh, prevent. prevent. All right, and this would be to stop something from happening. Now, uh, you guys might be going, wait a minute, that sounds like barrier. Okay, now look at the difference. Barrier is a noun. Okay, barrier is a noun. It is something that stops movement. So a barrier would prevent. Okay, prevent is going to be our verb. And prevent is to stop something from happening. Okay, so that, that would be the difference. So a barrier would prevent someone from getting through or getting into wherever you're blocking them out of. Okay, uh, good pronunciations here. Uh, prevent. Make sure that the accent is there at the very end. Prevent. Okay, good. Um, number nine is for uh, Andrew. How you doing, Andrew? Go for injured. It. Injured. It means hurt. Okay. Yes. Injured. Injured. Okay, and that is hurt. Excellent. Okay, hurt. and our last word, number ten. This is for Daniel. Uh. I'm not sure, but I can make a guess. Uh, it's an order that something must not be done. Yes, yeah. It's, so it's an order that something must not be done. In uh, that class, make sure that you pronounce that uh, with an ah sound. So we're going to say ban. ban. Okay, instead of saying bon Teacher. or ben, it would Teacher. be ban. Yeah. Ban uh, also means uh, when 
you are kicked out or when you are kicked. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you you would be uh, now that would be if I got banned from a a club that would be with two N's and an E D. So they banned they banned me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it sounds exactly like the word banned. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this, but that that can mean a couple things. A group, like a uh, a group of musicians or a group of people. Okay, it also can be something that you wear on your wrist, a band, a wristband. Okay, uh, so they sound similar. You just have to listen for the context and see how they're it's being used. All right. Okay, you guys. Uh, any questions about these vocabulary words? Yes, I've got a question. Um, yeah. Sure. The word prevent, uh, is this word used uh, without the preposition from? Because I haven't seen this word uh, in using without preposition. It's always prevent from plus uh, gerund. Am I right? Um, let's see. Prevent. Uh, prevent yeah, so prevent from. Uh, are you going to prevent that? Um, are you going to. Yeah. Prevent from it would. It's usually going to be prevent from. That would. That would uh, prevent it. You can say, uh, uh, "Are you going to prevent it from happening?" Yeah, but from follows closely uh, behind. From is usually going to follow prevent in some form or another. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's true. If not, if we don't use prevent. Then uh, you, we would more than likely use the word stop. Okay, so um, if you see a fight going on, or you talk and you talk to a police officer or something like that, you wouldn't say, "Hey, Officer Joe, are you going to prevent that from happening?" No, that would be weird. You would not say prevent. You would say, "Are you going to stop that from happening?" Okay, so um, in questions, uh, in situations like that, yeah. So uh, usually. Uh, usually, uh, prevent is almost. Um, it, it helps. Uh, it helps to describe a, a noun in, in in most cases, like that door. The, the locked door is preventing the zombies from getting inside. Okay. Um, so. Thank you. That's it's uh, interesting how how we use that, but yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions, class? No. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get rolling. So we're going to scroll up to page number one. All right, up here at the top of the page, we've got a brief history. Here, we're going to uh, read uh, read through uh, what's here in the blue box. All right, and we will find all of our vocabulary words here, and uh, we'll see how they are used in uh, real situations. Uh, let's start off with. Um, Emmanuel, uh, let me have you read these first two paragraphs right here, okay? Okay. The Berlin Wall was a barrier that separated West Berlin from East Berlin and the rest of East Germany. After World War II, the city of Berlin was divided into four sectors. The Soviet Union controlled the Eastern sector. The United States, Britain, and France control its Western sectors. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's uh, practice a couple words here. All right, so Emmanuel, uh, this word here is separated with an ed ending. Separated. Okay. Please repeat that word. Separated. Separated. Okay, one more time. Separated. Separated. Good. Okay. Um, now this word here is divided. Divided. Okay. Divided. One more time. Divided. Okay. Good. Now this word here is controlled. 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 Good. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now uh, this word right here. Okay. That word is east. East. East, east. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good. All right, thank you very much. Let's go to this next uh, paragraph, and this is for Jorge. Let me have you uh, read where it says East 
Berliners. East Berliners could still visit, shop and even work in West Berlin. But by 1961, East Germany's poor economy and, and increased political tension between the Soviet Union and the West caused thousands of East Germans to move to the West to stop people from living to stop people from living. On August 12, 1961, a wall was built to close the border. Okay, all right, excellent job. Very good pronunciations here. Um, uh, good job with your numbers. Okay, August uh, 12, 1961. Um, increased, your EP ending sounded very good. Okay, nice job, man. I didn't, I didn't hear anything that was uh, uh, pronounced incorrectly. You did very well. Nice job. Thank, thank you. Okay, and let's go to Cairo. Cairo, let me have you read this next paragraph here that starts off the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall began as a barbed wire fence, but was eventually for fortified with concrete slab. It was 96 miles long and almost 12 feet thick checkpoints along it, along it allowed tourists from abroad, diplomats and Western military personnel to cross into East Berlin. Guard Patrol, patrol it to prevent escape, but 5,000 people. Uh, oh, I can see es this. escaped. Right, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Fight uh, five hundred people. Five thousand people escape over the wall into West Berlin. Another one. 192 were killed and 200 were injured in failed attempts. All right, excellent. Uh, let's go over some ED ending words, okay? Uh, first off, this word at the very top is barbed. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. Try that. Barbed wire. Okay, we're going to say barb. Barbed. Barbed. Barbed wire. Okay, all right. Now, uh, this word here is fortified. 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 Good, good. Nice job. Okay, right. uh, let's see. This word here is patrolled. Patrolled. Good, one more time. Patrolled. Patrolled. Good, okay. And this word here is injured. 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 Okay, one more time. Inj injured. Injured. Okay, good, injured. good. All right, thank you, Kaido. Nice job. All right. Nice job. All right, let's go to our next paragraph, and this is for uh, Nicholas. How are you? Hello, mate. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Uh, let's uh, let's have you read where it says uh, about 1987. Yeah, okay. Um, about 1987, the political situation began to change. Mikhail Gorbachev, president of the Soviet Union, eased tensions with the West and introduced some liberal reforms, including more open go governments. Sorry. Citizens in other communist-controlled European countries began to dem and similar reforms. Okay. So they began to demand similar reforms. So All right, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just about to have you uh, work on that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so yes, demand. Okay, demand. Uh, uh, nice job here. Nice job. Um, your R sounds are sounding good. Uh, controlled, communist controlled. Okay, your short I and communist instead of saying communist. You said communist. Very good. Mm -hmm. And also similar. Similar is a hard one as well uh, because uh, um, it looks uh, so similar to the Spanish word. And so a lot of times uh, those who speak Spanish want to say similar. All right. Um, excellent job. Um, very good. Yeah. No, everything sounded really nice. Thank you very much. Excellent, huh? excellent job.
Okay, let's go to uh, our next paragraph, and this is for Adelina. Yes. Um, in 100 uh, or in 1989? There you go. In 1989, large uh, anti government demonstration. Uh, demons demonstrations. Demonstrations. There you in go. And in East Germany, forced the government to resign. To resign. To resign. Resign. The new, yeah. Resign. The new government promised uh, to lift the travel ban for East Germans. On November 9th, 90, a, a government minister mistake, mistakenly announcement that they could cross into Western Berlin immediately. That night, thousands went to the wall and the overwhelmed guards opened the checkpoints to let them throat. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Let's uh, practice uh, some of these words, okay? okay. So first <laughs> off, this last word is through. Through. Mm -hmm them through okay good good all right and now give me a good R sound so instead of saying through okay we, I want you to say through 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 okay good much better much better <laughs> all right let's uh, let's go to uh, let's see okay so uh, ban the word is ban, ban. okay you had said bon the travel mm -hmm. bond Okay, we're going to use an ass sound here. We're going to say ban. Ban. Okay, good. Yes. Now, remember, yes, this word is resign. And resign. Okay, and this S is going to make a voiced S sound. The voiced S is a Z sound. So we say resign. 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 Good. Much better. Now, uh, when we read this date, we say November 9th. 9th. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, one thing that I want to point out, um, and uh, you said this absolutely correct. Now, there are two ways that we can say the word anti. We can say anti as well as anti. Either way is fine. Okay, and uh, you had said anti-government, and that is perfectly fine. Sometimes you may hear someone say anti, anti-government, okay, and that would be just fine. The words mean the exact same thing, okay, so no worries about that. All right, okay, uh, okay. let's go to uh, the last paragraph, and uh, Andrew, let me have you uh, read this, la this these last couple sentences, please, where it starts off okay. within a year. Okay, w within a year, the Berlin Wall was dismantled except for short sections that were left as mem memorials. Uh, East and West Germany were unified on October 3rd, 1990. Okay, good. 1990. Okay, excellent, you guys. Mm -hmm. Good. So, um, class, uh, are there any questions about any of the words we just read through? We had uh, uh, the bold words like diplomats, as well as military and uh, personnel. Uh, those were our vocabulary words that we went through. Now, do you have any questions about any other words or phrases here? I, I have a, a question about the pronunciation of guard. Um, every okay. word which begins with G uh, and then U I don't pronounce pronounce the U. The U. Uh. Um. Yeah. Usually you would not. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. You would say uh, words like guard, okay, mm -hmm. or guide, okay. If we have the word guide. Mm -hmm. Never use okay. the U. Yeah. No, we wouldn't do that unless we were pronouncing a Italian word or a. Uh, uh, yeah, so for example, if we have the word Italian, uh, this Italian word Guido, okay, mm -hmm. now we would uh, we would uh, pronounce that with our wonderfully horrible
horrible uh, American accent saying Guido and would say, man, that guy's such a Guido. And that means that, uh, uh, that he is, you know, uh, more than likely acts like he uh, is Italian. It would be like uh, the guys from Jersey Shore. Okay, so uh, you've seen that TV show, right? Okay, yes. uh, on it's on MTV, and so they act a certain way. They act, uh, um, they act like they're charmers and they're lovers, and that all women love them, and they're and they're like God's blessing uh, for women, <laughs> you know. And so we would call them. We'd say, Ah, the, those guys are su such guidos. Okay, and uh, and and it's a it's a it's a bad term for uh, for charmers. Okay, things like that. But in this sense, yes, we would say gu gui guido. Okay, all right. But that's that's how we okay. would we would pronounce that. But we're pronouncing an Italian word. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it's uh, if it's a normal and normal English normal English word guard. Okay, guardian, uh, guide. Um, I don't think there there aren't very many words like that from what I can remember. Um, yeah, yeah, we don't have uh, hardly any others, but yeah, we don't pronounce that U. Okay. Okay. Can I Thank can you. I ask you something? Uh, sure. You know, uh, hold on a second. In the not the last one, <laughs> the previous one to the last one. I don't know how to say the ante ultimo. Okay, uh, the paragraph? second second to last. Okay, the second last paragraph says. Uh, the new government promised to lift the travel ban. What is lift meaning here? Okay, uh, lift would mean to remove. Oh, thank so, you. Um, uh, like, um, uh, y you can you can lift. So, if I'm, uh, uh, this would be lifting. Uh, let's see if I can get it. So, I would be lifting my pen. Okay. Now, in a figurative sense. Okay. Let's say that there is a law. Okay, written on paper. That is, uh, it's, it's, um, uh, it's, uh, how, how else could I say it? Um, it's, it's a, it's a heavy law. It kind of, it makes you feel uncomfortable. It's a, it's a, it's a law that is very restrictive. Yeah. Okay. And so when you lift that law, that's kind of like releasing this, this tension, this, um, um, the restrict, restriction on you. So figuratively, um, you're kind of lifting a, a, a weight or a restriction off you. And that's why we use that word to lift a ban. That's good. Okay. And so okay. that's how, that's why they were able to uh, travel like, like that because the ban was then lifted. Okay. Good question. Okay. Uh, any other questions, you guys? Yes. Is it is it, um, is this a synonym to do away with? Yeah, to lift. Uh, say that one more time. Um, the word, uh, the previous word, uh, lift. to lift. Yes. Okay. Is it is it the synonym uh, to word to do away with? For example, uh, the death pen in Russia, death penalty uh, went away with. It likes it's not work. For example, it's like banned. Um, let's see. So you're you're asking if uh, to do away with is the same as to lift in this sense? Is that what yeah. you're asking about? Okay. So yeah. yes, it would be. Uh, in this sense, you can replace to lift with to do away with. So for example, we can go ahead and read it and say the new government promised to do away with the travel ban for East Germans. Mm -hmm. Thank you for okay. the explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that would be to remove or to uh, uh, stop uh, or to take to remove that law. Okay. Um, okay, so Emmanuel has a question about the word arrive. Okay, yeah, so we would not pronounce that arrive. Okay, that we don't we don't have a double R pronunciation. Even if it's two R's, you could have fifteen R's there, and we would still mm -hmm. say er. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter how many R's are there. If there's one or two, we still say er, arrive. Okay? All right, you guys, any other questions? No. Awesome. All right, uh, let's uh, scroll down. All right, and um, let's, uh, let's actually uh, take a look at these three discussion questions here, okay? Uh, so first off... Um, I believe I left off with uh, Andrew was the last person to read. So, uh, Brenda, Brenda, how are you? Hi. Can you hear me? 
Uh, yes, I can hear you, Brenda. How's everything going? It's going good, thanks. Good, good. Now that's a, uh, a lovely picture that you have here. Where is that from? Uh, that's a picture from a Kevin movie. It's in, in France. Okay, in, in nice. France. Yeah, it's all, all right. nice, but it's, yeah, it's a city. Excellent. Dakota. Yeah. Very cool. And so, Brenda, where are you from? I'm from Lima, Peru. Peru so. Okay, from Lima, Peru. And uh, so, you may be yeah. living in uh, Brazil right now, then? In Brazil? No, I live no. here in Lima. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering because you pronounced your R like a Brazilian would, saying Peru. No. <laughs> no, I was like confused with the. Uh, with oh, the sure. Accent. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no problem. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, awesome. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and mm -hmm. uh, and take a look at our uh, our question here. I didn't want to do that. How come I have this camera thing here? No. All right, what? whatever. Uh, okay. the, uh, all of a sudden, I've got uh, this uh, camera thing, and I don't want to take pictures or anything like that. Okay, so uh, our question here is: you have uh, sometimes some technology baffles me. I no, it's a. I want to. I just want to remove it. You don't get anyway. Later. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All of a sudden, it just popped up. Ay, oh, jeez. Okay. So, um, Brenda, let's go to your question. Um, all right. So, what is the meaning of the Cold War? All right. Have you ever heard of the expression? The Iron Curtain, and what do what do you imagine it means? Mm, okay, so well, I must say that I'm not that good at history facts, but what I can understand by Cold War is that it's like a period of time where uh, any countries start. A, a discussion or some sort of, of war, so it's like the end of a period of war, I guess, so. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, so um, uh, does anyone else want to take a stab at what uh, the Cold War would be? To give an idea, I think the Cold War was uh, a confrontation between Russian Russia and the United States, but without uh, without uh, fights, without weapons, it, it was yeah. just uh, it was just uh, like um, confrontation of threatenings. Because yes. I don't know why, but I, but Russia was uh, US, uh, the United States was afraid that Russia could I don't know bomb the United States and vice versa. So it was like a threatening uh, confrontations and there was economy involved and there was a lot of things involved that made uh, the United States and Russia being opposite. Russia being, you know, the so-called communist, communist and the, the Americans, the so-called capitalist or something like that. Maybe. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it's very true. So, um, the Cold War was. Yeah, you're uh, right, Andre. You are right, Andre. Was uh, the USRS, not Russia? Because I'm because I'm Russian, yeah, and I know. <laughs> <what it is. laughs> All right. So, uh, Andrew, do you want to do? Do you want to uh, shed some more light on it? Actually, it's it's nothing left to say. Everything is all said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, it, it was a uh, basically uh, threats um, going back and forth, and that's why they said it was cold war. A uh, cold war because uh, no actual fighting um, uh, occurred. It was just like, well, well, we're going to do this. Oh, if you're going to do this, then we're going to do this. And and so it was going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, during during that time. Um, uh, Russia uh, or the USSR, I apologize, had uh, had control over uh, over East Germany uh, up until like how we read. Uh, I think it was uh, 1990 or 1989, one of those two years uh, that that wall came down and and the, the government was uh, was dismantled um, there in East Germany. Um, and for some people, it was a good thing. Uh, for some, uh, they don't believe it was a good thing. Now, have you guys heard of the expression the Iron Curtain? 
Yeah, I've heard about this expression. You know, okay. Uh, when when the USSR existed, uh, it's called like a, a curtain iron. It means, for example, uh, people who lived in the USSR they don't have any rights, for example, to go to go to abroad, to go to the United States. Everything everything was forbidden and. Uh, you know everything was forbidden in Russia and uh, for example to go to abroad to the United States just just diplomats can such opportunities and such rights to go to there and perhaps the the, United, the USSR government uh, did not want um, did not want anything new from the from the United States for example Okay. Yeah, they uh, they uh, were they didn't want any outside influences. They didn't want yes, uh, they wanted absolutely. everything done within within their their own country, um, mm -hmm. and uh, they wanted to uh, be self sufficient. Uh, they did a lot of uh, a lot of different things, uh, uh, coming up with their own energy sources, uh, building cars, and and uh, and trying to uh, uh, stimulate their own economy uh, that way. So yeah, yeah, and okay. and when. Um, for example, when USSR existed, for example, ratio r r rubles uh, to dollars, uh, mm, you know, rubles uh, was stronger than dollars, but in mm -hmm. Russia nowadays we have the ratio 30 to 1. That's pity. Yeah, yeah, now in, in, in Costa Rica it's a uh about 500 to 1. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, it's different uh, different wherever you go. In uh, uh, Honduras, where I was living, at one point it was 18.98 and now it's uh, up to 20, uh, 20 to 1. But yeah, it's uh, different uh, different everywhere you go. All right, let's uh, check out our next question. This will be for uh, Daniel. Uh, now, uh, Daniel and whoever else wants to jump in. Okay, our question is, uh, what kind of barriers exist between your country and its neighbors? Is it difficult to cross the border into neighboring countries? What kind of travel documents do you need to visit neighboring countries? Uh, I'm not completely sure, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, our barriers are uh, nature elements of the ground, like rivers or uh, lakes. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Since okay. seriously, have you uh, have you uh, traveled outside of Costa Rica? No. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, uh, Emmanuel. Have you traveled <coughs> outside of Costa Rica before? Yes. Um, uh, when when I was six, uh, six years old, I I traveled to Nicaragua. Okay, and uh, do you do you remember, if anything, about what kind of documents you had to have to to uh, uh, to leave? Yes, um, passport and visa. Passport and visa. Yeah, that's usually uh, usually what's re what's required. Um, I know uh, for myself coming uh, coming here, um, uh, I can I can stay here for up to ninety days, and then I have to uh, I have to leave. Um, but I have uh, started uh, started my the, the process of, of my paperwork before then, and so um, uh, to do that and then you know stay here and whatnot, uh, I'm okay. Uh, but it does it does take about a year or so, and you've got to pay people and stuff like that. But for me, it's well worth it. Um, so uh, does anybody have? Let's see. Are, are there any other? Um, any other situations that uh, uh, you guys know of, of going going like a border or, or any barriers between uh, your countries? Uh, let's see. How about uh, how about you, uh, Jorge? Jorge Jorge lives in uh, Mexico, um, and is uh, Aguas Calientes right there on the on the border? Is that what you had told me before? No, it is uh, in the center of Mexico. Oh, it's in the center. Okay. Yeah. Have you uh, have you uh, been to the United States or been to other countries before? Actually, I, I'm in the United States right now. Oh, cool. Where, where are you at? Uh, Denver. Ah, did we talk about that? No, never have talked about that. I we never have uh, talked about it? Yeah, no, I almost uh, went to your city. One time I was at uh, Grand Junction. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, we were working there uh, about uh, three years ago. Okay, and and what uh, what are you working at there, or what are you doing there in, in Denver? What what kind uh, of job? It's uh, construction, concrete. Okay, yeah, and uh, so answer answer me this, answer me this, and and I I bet uh, Daniel and uh, and Emmanuel are wondering about this as well. Why the heck did they play? Uh, 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 a football game, Costa Rica in the United States, in the middle of a freaking storm there in Denver. <laughs> yeah, it was, oh my God. It was snowing, uh, was it uh, Sunday? And no, yeah. it was uh, Saturday, no, it was Friday night. Oh, it was Friday night, yeah, it was uh, snowing like hell. We got uh, about nine inches of snow. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know the rules of the game, but they were playing just like that. In the Absolutely snow. ridiculous. It yeah. wasn't fair. Right. I know it totally. It's. I didn't think it was. I. I was like, you guys should have called the. It, the game should have been called, and they should have picked another place to play. Anyway, so uh, Jorge, uh, going from uh, Mexico to the to the United States, what uh, uh, what did you need and and what not uh, um, uh, uh, to get in? What kind of documents and whatnot, or um, um, or what what were the barriers and whatnot? What were they like uh, coming from Mexico into the U.S.? Uh, the what you need is a work visa, uh huh, and if you or with a green card or the, oh passport and work work visa. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, and do they the, have uh, do they have uh, what are the walls and whatnot? Are there do they have big walls or smaller walls or just the, your regular uh, immigration uh, checkpoints going through? Yeah, there is a lot of checkpoints, and there is a uh, fences and the uh, river. I don't know the name, the name of the river. Uh, the Rio the, Grande. Oh yeah, I I thought uh, that was uh, just Spanish. Uh, Rio Bravo. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, uh, I guess there would be two, but yeah. I mean, we say Rio Grande, but you guys may have another name for it. So yeah, okay. We call it Rio Bravo. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So uh, some countries may have uh, have uh, uh, you know uh, different different types of, of security to get into their country. Um, other others don't. I know traveling between Honduras and El Salvador is like nothing. I mean, it, <laughs> if you if you know someone and, and who knows someone else, you're right through and you don't have any problems. Um, and it's 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 funny how it works sometimes. So, all right, very cool. Let's check out number three. Let's go to Cairo. Uh, Cairo. Um, uh, here it says East and West Germany were separated for 45 years. What other countries have been separated as a result of war? And how does this kind of separation affect the citizens? What do you think, Cairo? Oh, for example, my country. My country uh -huh. was separated. Yep. Uh, uh, no, uh, long long ago, uh, we uh, by uh, was separated uh, because we, we this this territory uh, was conquered by Spain mm -hmm. uh, and France, mm -hmm. and then France. Uh, Took took the the control of this territory, and uh, there was a a people uh, called Haitians. Uh, uh, they live now in Haiti. So we are now separated by a frontier, a barrier, a, a barrier uh, from Haiti. You know, IT is, uh, they are our neighbors now. Yeah. IT. Now, uh, can you, can you, uh, can you go into Haiti, um, uh, without a passport or, I mean, can you, can you guys travel in and out of your countries fairly easily now or is it, uh, still fairly difficult? No, it's not difficult. Now we can go to IT free, for okay. free. We no, it's not difficult, but they have to to have a visa to get in our country. Okay. All right. Yes. 
Very good. Okay, you guys. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, coming to class. We're just about out of time. Um, and I hope you had your notebooks and you were writing things down. Uh, we had some really awesome pronunciations tonight. You guys did really good. I was really, uh, really happy um, with uh, with the progress that you guys are making in, in, in those small changes, your short I sounds, your, your S sounds, your uh, ED endings, your TH sounds, things like that. You guys are doing very well. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's see. My next class. Oh, I had to uh, take that down. Uh, my next class, I believe, is. Let's see. Oh, I can't tell right now. Anyway, I do have uh, two more classes coming up right now. Um, and if uh, if you are uh, planning on sticking around, follow me to my next my next class. If not, you got other things to do. That's fine as well. Okay, you guys. We'll see ya. Bye. -bye.